All right, tonight investigators say a bizarre string of events in Polk County led to an Uber driver shooting and killing a man he says followed and threatened him. It has been one of the most read stories of the day on WFTV.com. And as Channel 9's Q McRae found out, deputies say it's all because of a miscommunication between the suspect and an ex-girlfriend. The dramatic final moments of Jason Bowick's life, shot to death by a complete stranger. As far as Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd is concerned, it's all Bowick's fault. Fatal mistake by Jason. According to Sheriff Judd, early Monday morning, Bowick sent his ex-girlfriend a bunch of angry texts. She was inside Grove Lounge on Highway 27 reading them. She had no idea Bowick was outside in the parking lot. A drunk customer inside the bar orders an Uber, and the girlfriend decides to escort her to a waiting Uber car. Bowick sees this, but he doesn't notice his ex-girlfriend return inside the bar. He gets furious and gives chase. That's when Bowick became violent. He threatened to beat up his ex and the Uber driver in several aggressive text messages. He eventually catches up to the car and cuts it off. I'll say something. You want my pistol? You want me Oh my, oh, my God. God. oh, my God. The Uber driver didn't hesitate. Detectives say he had police training and a license to carry. He dialed 911. I'm applying pressure to the wound. He's faintly breathing. Okay, just stay on the line. Bad decision, Jason. Of course, I don't need to tell you that now. We discovered Uber has a no-guns policy that conflicts with Florida law, and a class action lawsuit was filed to change the rule. We're waiting to hear from Uber if the driver will be disciplined in this case. I asked, and detectives say they didn't find a gun on Bullock, but they did find a cell phone and some drug paraphernalia inside his car. They say he had a long rap sheet and was on felony battery probation when he died. In Polk County, I'm Q McRae, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And new right now, we are hearing from that Uber driver for the first time. Robert Westlake issuing this statement about the suspect to ABC News saying, quote, I feel for his family and their loss, and I feel for their son more than anything. ABC News also learned that Westlake previously worked as a security guard for a firm in Orlando, and he's been working for Uber while trying to find work with the police department. It's also important to note that Uber has suspended Westlake's account until he can prove to them that he is not considered a person of interest in this case.